So, as of today, uh, there's no confirmed release date for Hogwarts Legacy. Um, as of the time of this recording, it's expected to release sometime between November to before Christmas Day with low chance of it uh, being delayed if needed be. So, storyline. Hogwarts Legacy is uh, set in the 1800s, a uh, long time before the Harry Potter series. Uh, we play as a student that starts Hogwarts as a fifth year. Um, as the narrative director says, which is pretty weird, um, we as the student hold the key to ancient, uh, an ancient secret that threatens to rip the whole uh, wizarding world apart as we have the ability to possess and master ancient magic. Because of our unique relationship with the ancient magic in Hogwarts, it puts us on a collision course with the uh, goblin leader Ranrock and his followers of the dark, wi uh, dark wizards. Uh, Rick Rickwood. Um, these evil leaders wish to obtain and wield this magic for themselves, whilst bringing goblins to the uh, same social status as wizards. And then, uh, dark wizards ruling over a lot of the wizarding world, and uh, then, obviously, this is our purpose to go ahead and stop those from doing so. So, creatures that are confirmed in this game is the um, Hebridean Black Dragon, the Hippogriffs, the Thestrals, Mooncalves, Graphons, Mountain Trolls, Goblins and House Elves, pets like the Niffler, Neasel, Owls, Whooper, Phoenix, and possibly more just we haven't seen yet, um, Centaurs and Spiders, or also known as Acromantulas, um, the Inferi and Dementors. Um, there is a lot more people that have speculated on... Um, a lot more creatures, but as of the current recording, I don't know of any uh, any others thus far. But the, these beasts will be outside and in the world as you explore. Um, some of these beasts are tameable, and some are corrupted by dark magic, which you can actually um, keep them inside your case, pretty much exactly like Newt's Commander does in Fantastic Beasts, which I think is very cool. So if you've found some of these beasts, you can actually trap them and capture them and take them back to the Room of Requirements, which is what we'll get into later, and take care of them. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's said that Warner Bros, um, by Warner Bros themselves, that specific spells are only learned from companions and fellow wizards that you talk to throughout Hogwarts. Um, Chandler Woods, the community manager, has mentioned that in the PlayStation blog article that you you may come across some familiar names and quote uh, like a Weasley to a Weasley or two, um, so you might come across which uh, some familiar characters, which is pretty cool. So um, it seems like there could be a lot of Easter eggs and things to discover, which uh, I can't wait to wait to see what they have in store for us. So. We, uh, I quote, We wanted you to be able to discover new locations, such as exploring the Black uh, Lake and meeting new wizards and people beyond the Hogwarts, and fully exploring Hogsmeade and finding secret chambers that lie within Hogwarts and across the Scottish landscapes. Um, these words are from leading game director Alan Two. We will still be able to explore the familiar places and locations like the Clock Tower, uh, the Great Hall, and even be able to go inside the kitchens. They've also implemented a dynamic weather system and climate system that progresses throughout the year, which is amazing as the environmental surroundings will change based on the time of year. So um, this said to be plenty of puzzles and dungeons to explore. There's also no set information on map size, but it's pretty safe to say that it's going to be extremely big, which they you can obviously then use your broom um, to get around, or on like a hippogriff, which is assumably um, will be obtained after completing a quest. So um, there's going to be lots of exploration and uh, discovery to be done in this game. I'm very excited to see what it has to offer. Um, there's going to be a lot of wizards, creatures, and beasts to fight. The developers have stated that it's pretty much up to us on deciding how you want to engage, so it's just about like, it's not just about spamming a bunch of spells. Um, also, there's certain enemies having weaknesses and strengths to certain spells, um, so you can use them accordingly for what obviously you would assume would be equal, more, like, sorry, would assume 
um, that would like up or less the damage to said foe. Um, there's going to be wizarding spells in the game such as Sendio, Trichivacus Totales, Descendo, and Ovada Kadabra, um, and Axio, etc. Uh, there's said to be difficult set difficulty settings too, which I hope doesn't make the game mind-numbingly easy. And I hope that the, if there is a difficulty setting or like a slider, um, that it doesn't mean just giving uh, enemies more HP and damage. Um, I find that very silly and a bad design. Um, it should be changing the AI's difficulty and how they counter and interact with spells and the player itself. So, Regarding customization, Warner Bros. has specifically said uh, Hogwarts Legacy is your story. It's rooted firmly in the Wizarding World lore and it starts with a witch or wizard you want to be um, through a character customization screen pretty much so uh, will be chosen you'll like you'll be chosen and sorted into one of the four houses Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin uh, but they haven't specified which so uh, they haven't specified if there's a choice I would assume so though um, you can upgrade current spells and skills to make the abilities you're using much power, like more powerful and make them feel more impactful. So this game I hope will actively make spell ca uh, casting free and so you're a bit, like really able to make your own builds and playstyles so you're not just railroaded down a specific path. So for example, um, as shown on screen if I'm not like completely lazy, um, you can access a stealth talent tree or you can, like, obviously, if I don't show it on the screen, you could just view it in the thing anyway, uh, trailer. Um, so, the, yeah, the stealth talent tree to what I would assume you can just upgrade to make stealth more effective. Um, you can upgrade these things by an experience, which will be given just by playing the game normally, and throughout your playthrough, you'll obviously get stronger, and your knowledge of spells, talents, and skills will improve, giving you a wider variety of things to use during your wizarding battles. So throughout the story, you'll be attending classes, sort of like in Bully, um, yeah, if you know that game, you know that game. Um, these classes include charms, defense, potions, and herbology, and beasts. This is where you're going to encounter the majority of your narrative-driven gameplay. You'll be learning how to use specific spells, grow plants, how to duel, etc. Um, you're going to be able to experiment with making different potions, plants, which then could be used during your game. So, for example, you'll be able to craft a potion in the Room of Requirements, which we'll give you, I'll get onto later, uh, which gives you a power boost, uh, basically increasing damage to spells, or possibly using the plants we've created to distract, attack, and confuse targets. So, this room is going to allow you to upgrade gear, harvest plants, brew potions. It's basically like a blacksmithing area vendor that you're pretty much most likely going to be able to visit quite commonly. Um, oh, sorry, you're going to be likely visiting quite commonly. Um, there will be other vendors throughout the game, like in Hogsmeade area, you'll find vendors where you can buy consumables and items you might need in the world. Uh, there's going to be customizable space where you can put your own uh, house down as well, or like uh, think of it like your own piece of land, such as like building your own cottage, owning pets, and even magical creatures. Um, Chandler, uh, the I think one of the game director, oh sorry, community manager, has also said that there will be no microtransactions in Hogwarts Legacy, so that's pretty cool. Can't wait for that. It's evident that the there's going to be like some flu powder, like displayed in the movies, that we're going to be able to use um, in game, which means essentially that what I would assume to be you have to discover fast travel locations in which then you can use the flu powder to fast travel to said locations um it makes sense why they wouldn't like like they would add this uh, given that the world is probably going to be very big but me and myself i probably won't use it as a feature um so yeah like uh, apparating won't be available because if you don't know um that is something that you learn in your seventh year which basically is teleportation by the way for those who don't know um in simple terms uh then it's ruled like that itself is ruled out so um me myself i'm not going to be fast traveling because i want to make it more engaging and actually explore the world so but yeah so my final thoughts would be it would be awesome to see an option where you have a choice to choose a dark path or a light path way of you using your magic, as there's very clearly like dark magic available. I just think it would be cool to choose your path. Uh, also, that would increase replayability. 
Um, also, my some of my final thoughts would be that this game honestly like has like so much potential at its fingertips if done right, especially in the future if they add like possibly multiplayer. It would be incredible to see, but this game is going to be amazing to see how it turns out, and uh, hopefully this ends up being a good game with some good magic combat. I've always said I've wanted a game with good satisfying combat, or like magic combat, sorry, and I haven't really found one that suits me, so maybe this is a good contender. Um, anyways, uh, I'm really a big fan of like f specifically the Fantastic Beast series, um, I absolutely adore it, I'm learning the theme to Tom on guitar, so I, I just, I'm in love with it. Um, it's amazing, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game, hopefully, so yeah, take it easy, guys.